I'm so excited to finally announce on the channel, guys, of the newest purchase. I bought a campground. So actually my dad and I partnered up on this campground here. Um, it's a 38 space campground and I'm gonna take you on a little tour of it here. Kind of show you what we got going on. Kind of tell you about some of the plans and um, I've got some cool aerial shots that I'll throw in here. But uh, guys, super excited about this purchase. I'm hopefully gonna be making a lot of videos down here, especially as the summer ramps up and a lot more people are here and uh, just gonna be a lot of fun. So I'm gonna start up here. Um, I'm kind of standing up by the main building. Now this used to be a KOA campground, so it's a very signature uh, style of building you'd see at a campground. We have an apartment up there, it's a one bedroom apartment. And then down here is like the office, we got the bathrooms, we've got the laundry room. And I'm gonna show you all of that here in a little bit. Um, walking around, so this is kind of a circle drive, you can come in this way goes down this whole property which you're probably not gonna be able to tell real well on this uh, video it's on a kind of a slope a hillside so you've actually got the mississippi river behind those trees that runs that way um and we're actually on a bay this it's actually a bay and then the river's on the other side so um 30 seconds down that road right there the water is right there so maybe i'll show you guys that at some point but what we got here let's just take a little tour um standing at this point so obviously we've got our building right there we've got this little uh pad here they play like um cornhole and different things there we've got a little playground located back there with some swings um we've actually got a pool right over on the other side of that hill which i'll show you guys that there in a second and then we've got this really cool old barn um, that is currently just being used for storage, but you know, who knows, we may eventually turn it into some sort of like event space, maybe do, um, like little, you can rent it out, you know, for like a little event. It's pretty small, so I'm not sure. But, uh, before we go over to the barn, let's go check out the pool. So it'll be fun over the summer as we start to make improvements to the property, you know, maybe replace some of the equipment. Um, we're, we've got just little things that we want to do here and there. One of the biggest things that we want to do is add in cabins, um, add in some sort of nightly cabin rental, which we'll, we'll get to that later. Um, but here's the pool. So it's nothing, you know, huge, but, um, it's, you know, it's a really nice amenity to have at a campground. It's a great place to gather, um, great place to hang out. And I think it's probably like four or five feet deep at the, at the deepest point. So nothing, you know, crazy. That's the pump house right there, um, the, like where the filter and all that is. And uh, and yeah, so the, the pool will be fun. I'll definitely show you guys the process as we um, uncover that this summer. And you know, it's funny, I don't, I don't even remember what that is. Some sort of drainage system. But like I mentioned, we have 38 spaces right now, I believe. And two of them are, actually three of them are, um, tent camping so we have a tent spot right there right there and down here and tent camping is not so popular anymore and we also don't really make much money on it so i think what we're gonna end up doing is putting in some cabins along this hillside and then another video another time i'll probably take you guys up on this land up here i've got a cool story um the owner of this property had additional acreage and we have an option to purchase it and we've got plans maybe eventually to put cabins up on the top of this bluff here. So um, that'll definitely be really cool. We, uh, you know, it'd be a, a whole a whole process of redeveloping the land, adding plumbing, electrical, uh, the whole nine yards. So coming inside, we've got this, the front door here, walking in, which we have a, a, a camera, a ring camera on the front. So it's really nice anytime anyone walks by or comes up, automatically sends a notification to my phone, uh, my mom's, my dad's, so we can jump on, see who's there, and even communicate with the person. So, you know, at one point in time, this would have been staffed by someone. Um, things are done so remote now. Really, we don't need someone down here all the time, 
but um, this area also probably used to be used as some sort of store where they sold camp goods, you know, roasting sticks, firewood, uh, gro some small groceries. But right now it's just kind of a unused space. I'm not sure what we're gonna do with it yet. I'm sure we'll do something with it. Um, and you've got, you know, your different utility closets. This is like, you know, the furnace, one of the furnaces, the one of the water heaters. Um, there's different systems in this building, which I'm still learning what they all are. That door, actually I'll just show you. Um, I don't think the girl's here from the apartment, but um, so this door goes out to a little foyer where the tenant would walk in this door and then go upstairs through there. And that's an old door that used to go to the restrooms, which we will walk over there in a minute. So um, I don't know, again, how much we'll use this down here, but it's nice. We've got this office space. So, I mean, if I uh, wanted to have someone down here working, we could do that, set up some more computers. We'll, we'll see what happens there. Um, this is kind of another um, furnace slash, we got our electrical panels, got another furnace, another water heater, got a little sink here. Just all kinds of fun stuff, guys, and I'm still discovering some of it. So, and you guys are gonna, gonna come along for the journey. We got our pool um, tables right there, and uh, this is, again, the view looking out. So, kind of a cool view. And the, the tenant upstairs really has a pretty sweet apartment. Um, it's old, it's, it needs updated, but nonetheless, it's kind of cool. So. Let's go um, and check out the barn now. Before I walk down there, so this tractor is typically kept down in the barn, uh, but we have it out right now because we just obviously had a snowfall. So we're using that for the snow. It's nice, it's got a blade on the back, nice big bucket on the front. So it comes in super handy. Another thing I'll notice uh, or mention to you guys, we've got a couple campers here. We've got actually three people in the park. This guy right here um, has actually been here for years. He loves that spot up there. I'll drive you up there in a little bit. Um, so he pays a monthly fee to be here. We pay all the utilities. Um, and so typically the old owner didn't allow a lot of people um, to stay here through the winter, but it's something we're probably gonna start doing more of. All right, so we've got this really big, large um, like deck area in the barn. I mean, as you can see, it definitely needs a lot of work, it needs repainted. Um, so those, these are all projects we'll you know, probably start some on this spring slash summer. So let's check out the inside. All right, so walking inside here, we've got this pretty sweet old barn here. Um, came with this nice Kawasaki mule with two rows of seats, which is super cool. Uh, we actually have, we have another one, or my dad has one of these at his home. So kind of grew up running one of those. They're super handy to run things around. This uh, bed actually flips, or the seat flips up and the bed extends so you can have a much longer bed. But you know, we got all kinds of stuff with the purchase. We've got tools, um, different miscellaneous stuff. Nothing, nothing really of value, obviously besides the equipment. Uh, but we, you know, uh, for the people who are local here, don't get in any ideas because all the keys are kept uh, locked away. So don't, uh, don't come snooping around, please. Um, we've got all these, picnic tables here and it's kind of cool this is actually an old uh stage uh so they maybe had like a little i don't know concerts or something down in here also um i'll show you guys this another video there's actually a basement underneath here and one of the big projects that we need to do is shore up the basement as you can see we've got these metal plates here uh, because there's quite a bit of give and driving the tractor in and out of here, a um, little bit sketchy. All right, guys, so here is the men's restroom. We got a urinal, two toilet stalls, and then the rest are shower stalls. And that's that door that went through to the off, to the foyer of the tenant's door that went upstairs. Got uh, a couple sinks here, four of them, and probably do some improvements you know, over time in here. Things are... In, in pretty good shape, but all older. Um, so we'll see, you know, how things go. But uh, let's go check out the laundry room. 
So stepping into the little laundry room, we've got just four machines, coin operated, um, but people can come in here, do their laundry. You know, we got the little hanger there. So, hey, you know what? It, uh, it, it works. All right, so let me take you on a little driving tour here. So let's, uh, let's go up the hill and we'll kind of get a top uh, view here. I guess I should probably put my seatbelt on. So we're headed up the hill. This is going up the bluff and the land that we have an option to purchase on is up there. I'll show you guys that another time. There's one of the tent spots that we're thinking of putting a uh, cabin on eventually. We'll maybe stick some cabins, you know, along this hillside as well. But this is kind of the top row and you've got these spots that you park kind of sideways on. And this is one of the guys that's been here for many years. So you've got this uh, kind of view overhead, um, the barn, the office, everything. You got a nice vantage point up here. So I think we've got like five, four or five lots up here. Um, and then we head down this hill. And the roads are something we'll probably have to fix up over time. Some of these roads are really falling apart and have been replaced with gravel. So that's something that we're gonna replace eventually. And uh, another th exciting, very exciting thing about this property is it came with a dumpster, which is over there. So currently the back of my um, Subaru has some junk in it. So we're gonna make a pit stop there. And um, pretty sure that those people in that mobile home, or, um, RV down there are actually getting ready to leave. So they're packing up, but they've been here for a couple months. And we've got a pavilion over there for different hosting, different events. And let's drop this off. Seriously guys, having a dumpster, so nice. Cause you go through a lot of stuff in rental properties and my uh, back of my Subaru's is always just full of junk. So that'll be nice. So we've got like five or six lots along here. We've got some lots going on over here. We've got snow covering some of them, but Basically, you've got your water hookups. Well, water's right there. You've got your sewer right there. And then you'd have your electrical hookup right there. So it's really nice. Everything in this park has, I think all of them have concrete pads. There's maybe one that doesn't, but everything's been upgraded. New water hydrants, new electrical. A lot of the plumbing has been redone. So it's pretty turnkey. So moving down, we've got um, kind of a, a lot that's coveted apparently by a lot of people. It's, it sits back in here, tucked back. Obviously in the summer, these trees are grown up, so there's more privacy, but that's lot number 12. And I guess it's a pretty popular lot. So this is kind of the lower area. Um, this is where a lot of the bigger homes will go. We've got lots starting down here. You can fit a 50 foot plus home um, through here. It looks like we've got some standing water, which you always want to be careful of standing water. It could mean that you've got a water leak, but I believe this is just from the snow melting off. And then over there, there's the pavilion again. We've got some lots over to my right. You've got a couple pull throughs. And yeah, so this is kind of a shot from the lower area. And uh, there's the main road that runs. That's the river road, very popular road for bikers. And um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much a shot of the park. All right, guys. Well, hope you enjoyed that little intro video. I'm sure I'll be making a lot more videos down here in the future. And um, kind of even starting to look at another couple other campgrounds for sale. Uh, so we'll see what happens there. But this will be a lot of fun. Definitely a new adventure for us. Um, hoping that things work out well, you know, with dad and I running this thing and we're actually, um, I'm hiring my first employee for my management company. So we'll have to talk about that a little bit more, but yeah, that's it guys. So, um, yeah, I appreciate you guys watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.